Hey babe, I'm just gonna go into the garden. Cool. And that, children, is why you never water the garden in the middle of the day. Except that's not exactly true. 99.9% .9 of the time, it is perfectly fine to water your plants in the middle of a hot day. In the sense that it's not going to hurt your plants. You see, here in Australia, and probably in other countries too, we grew up being told that you should never, ever, fucking ever water your plants in the middle of a hot day or your veggie patch or your lawn because A, it's gonna kill your plants, like burn the leaves, it's gonna kill your lawn, carrots are gonna start exploding out of the ground. If, if, your, if your dad or grandpa saw you with a hose on in the middle of the day, you would, you do, oh, you know, oh, what, what would happen, do you reckon? Me? Yeah, well, I'm looking right at you. Who did I? Yeah. I was looking at the flyer that I'm What do you at. think would happen? What would happen if you if your mum caught you with a hose on in the middle of the day? I would be she would simply perish. <laughs> Lights reflecting off my fucking glasses, look at that, it's so annoying. The thing is, there's actually no scientific evidence whatsoever that watering your plants during the day or during a hot day is bad for the plant. It might not be the best thing for the environment, however. So in this video, we're gonna bust the myth that watering your plants during the day is bad, and we're gonna back it up with some science, huzzah! Stay tuned. It's a dangerous day to be a beer. So the theory is, that water droplets sitting on the leaf of a plant will magnify the sun's rays and burn the leaves of those plants. Kind of like how a magnifying glass can uh, sort of channel the sun's rays to cook those ants. Don't fucking do that by the way, you sickos. Another theory or myth is that again, similarly, the water will heat up and cook the roots of those plants, especially in potted plants. This is a less common myth, but people, I've still heard people say it in the past. Again, not true, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And another theory is that watering during the day is ineffective because if it's too hot, the plants will essentially shut down. They won't be able to absorb nutrients and water or the water will evaporate faster than the plant has a chance to suck it up. Now that second theory of the third theory, <laughs> the evaporation thing is actually probably very, very, oh, it's hundred percent true. This is the main reason why we got told, or at least that's how it started, as to why you shouldn't water your plants during the day because simply it's a waste of water. Here in Australia, here in South Australia, we have very strict water restrictions. It's the driest state and the dry, driest continent or something to that extent. So you can waste your water. Now water's not cheap and it's also, you know, environmental considerations. It's probably not a good idea to water during the day. Holy shit, baby! There's a kookaburra on our thing, quick! Get, get your phone out, get your phone out, quick! <gasps> oh, shit. There you go. Leave it. Oh. Oh, let's do it. Goodbye. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> this is my first beer, I swear to God. So back to the magnification water droplet thing. I think it's known as a water lensing, as in the water droplet acts as a lens, channels that sun, turns it into a magnifying glass that murders ants. Don't magnify ants, you sick fucks. Many experiments and tests have been done across the world by experts and universities. I've done my own tests and I've been gardening for many, many years. I'm not very good at it, but I haven't managed to burn any of my plants leaves just yet. And the worldwide consensus is that water droplets on leaves will not burn the leaves of your plants in most cases, and here's why. First of all, just like a magnifying glass, you have to be a certain distance away in order for that light to channel, right? A droplet sitting on a leaf is simply too close to the surface of the leaf, as in it's on the surface, it's not gonna have that magnifying effect. So it simply can't channel that light. Secondly, if it was hot enough, if there was enough direct sun to channel that light, this tiny little water droplet would disappear long before, i.e. evaporate, long before it would have a chance to cook or heat up and boil. It's simply gonna evaporate. Water droplets evaporate in sun, don't they? So how could it possibly stay there for long enough to magnify it? The simple answer is it can't. 
except in some very, very rare cases with furry leaf plants. So furry leaf plants, hairy plants, can have water droplets suspended in those little furs above the leaf and in some very, very rare experiments, it has shown that they can very slightly burn the leaf in some very extreme circumstances, but not significantly enough to hurt the plant overall. But it does kind of lend some credence to the theory that water droplets can magnify it. But again, it's such a minute amount and it's not long enough because of evaporation that it doesn't really hurt the plant. So can water droplets sitting on leaves burn the leaves of the plants? Well, no, not really, like kind of, but not not really at all. So don't worry about that. So in conclusion, you simply cannot burn a plant if you water them in the heat of the day. There is no scientific evidence to support this. So go right ahead, except that you probably shouldn't for environmental considerations. Environment aside, watering your plants during an extreme heat wave can actually benefit your plant in one way by cooling it down. So let's say you ran, run a sprinkler over a veggie patch, you're gonna cool the air around it, you're gonna cool the soil, you're gonna prevent that plant from burning. This is factually true, but again, it's not ideal if you don't have an infinite or abundance of cheap water because you're gonna lose a lot of it to evaporation. It will cool the plants down. You can water a potted plant and cool it down provided the hose isn't cooking the water on the way out. Like if you let that hose run for a little bit, and the water that comes out is typically cool and your potted plants are shitting themselves in the sun and it's a one-time sort of thing, you're not really gonna hurt it. You're not gonna use too much water. You're actually gonna stop those roots from cooking in those plants. You're gonna cool that plant down. This is true, but it's not ideal for A, the environment and B, your pocket, i.e. your money. What do you call money? Money. Money. Yeah. So when should you water your plants if you know it's gonna be a scorcher of a day? A long, slow, Deep soak in the morning and evening is the best time to water your plants on a hot day because you're gonna get the most out of that water. It's not gonna evaporate and the plant's gonna be nice and hydrated for the duration of the day. The other thing is obviously lots of mulch, okay? Mulch will stop evaporation. In fact, if you had a very, very heavily mulched garden and you were to water it during the day, you're gonna lose less to evaporation, especially if you're not using a sprinkler. If you've got drippers or you're running it underneath, then it like had sort of subsurface irrigation or just under the mulch. This is also better for your plants, but again, you're still gonna lose a little bit to evaporation on a hot day, but it's not absolutely not gonna hurt your plant. The best thing you can do is like I said, water in the morning and the evening, cover your plants with shade cloth if you can, move your potted plants into a shaded area. This is much better for the environment and it's much better for your budget. And well, that's it. <laughs> so to summarize, does watering your lawn, your veggie patch, your garden, your potted plants during the day hurt your plants? Absolutely not, that is absolute fucking bullshit. Should you do it? Probably not because of environmental and budgetary considerations. I've been Jacob, you've been watching Chuvru. Like, subscribe, hit the notification, all well, the YouTube stuff, you know the drill. And if you enjoyed this video, share it all around. Don't forget to check the description for studies so it's not just me. So you're not like, who's this dickhead? Actually, there are scientific studies that I've linked below that verify everything I've just said. So check that out. Stay tuned for more homebrewing, more gardening, more adventures. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.